My uh, laboratory's main focus is understanding how adult hippocampal neurogenesis, which is a unique form of plasticity in the brain, contributes to hippocampal functions in both cognition as well as the regulation of mood. Psychiatric diseases have, at a molecular level, hundreds of, or no, if not thousands of genes that are essentially culpable agencies. So it's going to be very difficult to target each of these genes, uh, even if you figured out what they were doing at the level of the circuit. However, uh, we do know that genes exert their effects in the brain through their actions on circuits. We also know that many psychiatric diseases outside of say schizophrenia, for example, where there's a very strong heritable genetic component. Many of the other psychiatric diseases have both uh, an integral contribution of the environment and the genetic culpability that comes from mutations and in the DNA. And so it's this interaction between genes and environment that is thought to produce vulnerability or in some cases resilience. However, both again, genes and environment converge at the level of neural circuits. And so, it's, if anything, it underscores the need to identify neural circuits and, and their functions, the functions of neural circuits, as well as neural circuit-based signatures to ultimately inform our understanding of behavior in health and disease. Many of these psychiatric diseases are based on the DSM, uh, are ostensibly extremely heterogeneous in structure. However, if one were to zoom in to the neural circuit underpinnings of these diseases, and specifically how different neural circuits contribute to distinct components of these different diseases, we may find ourselves identifying common shared endophenotypes at the circuit level that are conserved across different diseases. So for example, in my laboratory, uh, one of the uh, driving forces of our, of our work and our approach is that identifying basic computational mechanisms by which the hippocampus encodes information and keeps, for example, similar memories separate through neural mechanisms such as pattern separation, we think will ultimately edify how brain dysfunction uh, contributes to memory impairments in aging and Alzheimer's, but also, as we've proposed, overgeneralization of fear and PTSD. Mm -hmm.